Right, it's Phil again. This is the Digimite One Plus One conversion that I posted a short while ago. If you recall, it gives you a proportional rudder and a three position sequential throttle. Now I think most of us fly electric single channel models, um, but I have a friend Doug who flies IC engine models and he's one of the few that actually uses a throttle um, on his single channel IC powered models. And what Doug has noticed is that with the speed of the throttle servo, actually that's a bit fast for changing the carburetor settings on an IC engine. And quite often they'll cough a little bit uh, with the speed of the um, speed of the change there. Um, so Doug was asking, could we come up with um, like a servo slow idea for the throttle? Um, and also um, on an IC engine, the mid setting. Um, which on an electric model is quite linear, the mid setting is about half power. On an IC engine, um, the mid setting is probably about 80% power. Um, half power is probably right down about 30% of the carburetor opening, something like that. So you need a midpoint that isn't actually in the middle. Um, so what I've done, uh, I made a couple of these little throttle widgets, um, and all this does is it sits in between the um, throttle servo and the throttle channel so the throttle servo plugs into the output of this little widget and that plugs into the throttle channel and now we've got the servo slow function Other than that, it's working exactly as it used to do, apart from the servo is much slower. But what we can do is we can adjust the uh, low position so that the carburetor is just closed to the right point. We can adjust the mid position so it's just running at the right speed, which might be towards one end. And then we can set the fast position. Now any one of these pots can position the servo in any of its, um, anywhere within its rotational, um, as far as it can move, physically move. So if you want, you could even reverse it, you could use these pots to reverse it. So we're on high throttle now, if I turn that right round to low, mid, low, and then I turn this right now. to high, it works exactly the same as before but we've actually reversed the servo by setting low above high and high below low if you like. Let's put it back because that's confusing. There we go. Put middle back in the middle. and put low back at the low end. There we go, so that's low, medium, high. There we go. Now the, the device itself is a little bit bigger than I'd hoped. Um, there's a pic chip in there, three preset pots. And uh, I do intend making a smaller one where it's one pot and it's external. You plug it in, make your adjustments, then unplug it. Um, but uh, it's Thursday today and the meeting is on Sunday, so I have to come up with something fairly quickly. Um, so this does the job. It's a little bit bigger than I intended, but um, I'm sure on an IC model you'll find room for that. It weighs nothing and um, it seems to work okay. So uh, that's, the, that's the McGregor back as it was. with the full speed throttle and there's a couple of your widget things oh, two things, oh, what was the other thing? oh the other thing is um, failsafe it simply passes on whatever failsafe you've set on your receiver if you set it to no pulses it 
sends out no pulses on failsafe. If you set it to low throttle, it goes to low throttle. It just it mimics whatever it uh, sees from the receiver. Um, so from a safety point of view, it's it's just as safe as the with or without it. Uh, so there you go, throttle widget for Doug. Cheers.